Your goal in Grid Detective is to figure out how several different items are related using a set of clues and simple logic. The logic grid is a tool to help you track which items are or are not related and to help identify new relationships by using elimination and association. Every d detective grid puzzle begins with a story. The story sets up the puzzle and may give you valuable clues, so read it carefully. This story is about the spelling bee. The Mystic Junior High School participates in a national spelling bee competition every year. The three best students in each school compete in regional and then national contests with a large scholarship prize for college being awarded to the final winner. Last Saturday, the Spelling Bee Contest for Mystic Junior High was held and the three best students in the school spelled their way to victory. Determine the full name of each student and the last word each student was given to spell in the contest. Clue number one below tells us that Peter didn't spell ubiquitous. We need to put an X in the grid showing Peter and Ubiquitous don't share a relationship. So just mark an X where Peter intersects with Ubiquitous. For clue number two, we need to show that Singer and Vexillographer are not related. Mark an X where Singer and Vexillographer intersect. In clue number three, we have our first example of a positive relationship. Melanie's last name is Wish. So put a circle where Melanie intersects Wish, then put an X in each other entry for Wish and Melanie. So no other relationship between Melanie is possible with the other last names and no other first name is possible for Wish. Because we know Melanie's last name is Wish, we also know that Wish didn't spell claustrophobia. So mark that grid with an X as well. Now clue number four says that Elliot isn't Grant. So put an X for Elliot and Grant. But that means that Elliot's last name must now be Singer because that's the only choice left. Now from there we can see that Singer didn't spell vexillographer, so Elliot didn't spell vexillographer either. So mark that square with an X. By elimination, we can finish the first last name grid area because we now know that Peter's last name must be Grant. Mark it with a circle. Now if we continue to look down <coughs> the Grant column, we can see that ubiquitous doesn't go with Grant because Peter didn't spell ubiquitous. So we can cross off Grant and ubiquitous. And since Grant didn't spell claustrophobia, that position can be marked with an X. And since Singer is Elliot's last name, by association we know that Elliot spelled claustrophobic. Mark that with a circle and X out Elliot and Ubiquitous and claustrophobia and Peter. By elimination, it's clear Peter spelled vexillographer, so place a circle there. And Melanie spelled Ubiquitous, filling out the first name and spelling word grid area. Mark a circle there. To finish the logic grid, our final elimination tells us that Wish spelled ubiquitous. Ta-da! Puzzle solved.